What an active day it was in central North Carolina. Started off with a CBS 17 storm team alert day due to tropical storm Elsa. And you can see it play out on our Carter Finley time lapse. Rain moved in and it continued. And it continued all throughout the afternoon and into the early evening hours. We even had some severe thunderstorms, had some tornado warnings, flooding, wind, pretty much had everything on the table. Much quieter, though, as Elsa is continuing to move away. So look at some of the storm reports that we had. Most of them were wind reports, tropical storm wind reports, with, again, some flooding concerns as well. And we will be watching the creeks, rivers, and streams as we move to the next couple of days because those river levels, those water levels, will begin to respond to the significant rainfall that we have seen. So just be mindful of that. And of course, avoid any flooded areas that you do come across. Much quieter now on satellite and radar. Not completely dry. We've got some scattered showers there in Sampson County, but much quieter as again, Elsa as well to our north and east. So latest look at the track. You can see moving again to the northeast at 25 miles per hour. We'll maintain that tropical storm sat status and then eventually weakening to a post-tropical cyclone as we move later into Friday as it continues to race off to the north and east. But we'll still be talking about Elsa, but not talking about impacts here at home. So for Friday, it'll be hotter. We're back in the 90s, but we're not dry. Remember, we've got some scattered showers and storms in the forecast tomorrow afternoon. Lower 90s looking mainly dry Saturday. Better chance of showers and storms for your Sunday. So going to be very hot the next few days. Back to where we should be this time of year. Today, it was generally in the 70s, and we're still holding in the 70s for most of us. Some mid-70s down in Fayetteville, 71 in Raleigh, some 60s in Henderson and Roxborough. So looking for tomorrow, those overnight hours will keep some clouds around, maybe an isolated shower possible. Clouds act like a blanket. They keep those temperatures from falling too much. So we're waking up to temperatures near 70 tomorrow morning, climbing to near 90 tomorrow afternoon. Well, again, not a rain out, but some scattered showers and storms will be in your forecast. So let's walk through future cast together. There's our cloud cover, a little bit of green here and there. Some sunshine to start off our front. Friday, and then as we head into the afternoon, that peak heating of the day, we've still got some moisture in play, and that's where we'll see some of those scattered showers and storms through the evening. And then we'll begin to quiet things down overnight and see a quieter start to our weekend. So weekend is 91 on Saturday with a small chance of rain, upper 80s there on Sunday with a better chance of scattered showers and storms. So pretty much everybody in the lower 90s, especially down into the Sand Hills, a similar story for the coastal plain. Pretty much. 90, 91 degrees, that's about where we'll be. And then we'll see some upper 80s there along the North Carolina, Virginia state line. So as you can see, that typical summer-like pattern returns for us a little drier as we head into Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. But just a lot of heat, a lot of humidity, but thankfully not a lot to talk about in the tropics. That is a good thing. We'll take that all day long. Thank you, Melissa.